what's up everybody welcome back to my channel um y'all this this video is actually gonna be pretty simple and to the point um a lot of people have asked me about bows um i know some people are new to my channel and have not seen like some of my previous videos um for easter i do not make bows with ribbon i do not purchase easter ribbon uh i don't care if it's on clearance i still don't purchase it um because the kids don't care about the bows and I found a better way to make um, bows to the baskets, whether it be um, for the boys. I have black, blue, red, green. Uh, for the girls, I have purple, pink, multicolored, um, green, you know, depending on the basket or whatever, light blue. Um, I get all those colors um, and I just stock up on them when they come out and then I just save them for the pre the next year and the next year and the next year so that box i know you think it's potato chips in there it's not it's <laughs> that was the only box i had on hand uh last year because i had to run to walmart and i couldn't make it to sam's i had to run to walmart and get a 50 box of chips because i was running out as the baskets were being made so um i just decided to put those in there but yeah this is what i use um for the large baskets i usually do actually for all of them i usually do like maybe three pieces per basket but for the larger baskets i usually like a longer piece um because what you want to happen is you want the bow to stand out um to make the basket you know enhance the basket that's what bows are there for um and for the smaller baskets i use like shorter pieces but i still use the same concept pretty much um and so yeah i'm gonna show you what the concept is it's really easy and simple um, and also, these came from Walmart. Somebody asked me about these, too. Um, they were like $2 and some change for 100 Yeah, for 100 Uh I had to look at the packs up there because they got the thing on it. Um, but, yeah, these were $2 and change for 100 in the little craft section. And I just always go with these for Easter. I don't really use pipe cleaners a lot on bowls. Most time I use string. But, like, for Easter, I use the pipe cleaners because I have to stick and move. And I don't have time to be trying to tie no bows and all that stuff. So I use the pipe cleaners for Easter. And I just like the fun colors that they have. Because they're all like spring like bright like colors that go with Easter baskets. Um, oh yeah, these came from Walmart. These came from Dollar Tree. Um, and you probably can find these at Family Dollar and even Dollar Journal maybe. You never know. Um, so I'm going to bring the camera down. All right, so like I said, I don't really measure. I don't know if I said it or not. I'm, I don't know. I'm losing my mind. But anyway, <laughs> I don't measure. Um, you can. Um, but I know for the big baskets, I want to do like kind of long. So that's about the length I'll go. Because I want to give it the ability to have a curve on each side. Like I said, I'm gonna use three pieces. Um, and I try to make sure they're both curled like this. So basically like how a, a script or whatever, um, like the, you know, the ancient stuff from back in the day, how they're both rolled on both sides. So just so they have, they both have a good curl on each side. Um, and then I take my pipe cleaner and I take it and I pinch the middle and I hold that going that way and then I take another piece and I pinch down the middle and I'll have it going that way and then I'll take another piece pinch it down the middle and have it coming this way so it kind of looks like that um, and then I'll take my pipe cleaner Come around the pinches and then you just want to tighten it up and so when you put this on a basket it's going to look like that which is a cute little bow i mean it's not your average bow but it makes you know that that's pretty cute so basically this is how they turn out um and then like i said once you put them on the baskets they become you know more fuller and and stuff like that um but this is the easiest bows i go with Y'all see how simple that was for me to put these together. I don't have to fold, bend, none of that. 
I just <laughs> make sure they curl on both sides and pinch them in the middle and tie them off. So then now all I gotta do is just take this part, you know, as I'm closing the basket, take this part and close the basket up with the, you know, plastic in there. And then you have your bow on each basket. Um, and I have, like I said, I have black, blue, I have all colors. So, so I do it for all boys, girls, whoever. This is the bow, type of bows they get. They don't get the fancy bows. I mean, it's they, like I said, they don't care. So don't kill yourself trying to buy all this high expensive ribbon and all this stuff and trying to make 12 million bows with this ribbon and you don't have to. I'm just giving you an easy way out. You get you get an easy pass right now for Easter. Now Mother's Day, don't do this. <laughs> I mean, you can, but I don't advise on Mother's Day. <laughs> But you can for Easter. They, they, it's okay. Parents will still buy the basket, even though it's got this type of bow on it. You don't have to have that expensive Easter ribbon. So, I hope this helped. Um, I hope this gave you some encouragement on finding the easy way out of a lot of things. So you don't spend so much time on a thought process or like really pushing yourself to make these fancy bows for these Easter baskets because the kids do not care. Um, thank y'all so much for watching and uh, y'all don't forget to hit the like button so people can see my videos You know what I'm saying like it's okay to hit the like button. It's free It's totally free um, And if this helped this video helped you um, and you're new to, to the channel go ahead and subscribe too Because um, I'll be coming out with more content um, As the time goes by because baby we rocking and rolling Everybody else need to get on the train of Easter. It's time to rock and make some Easter baskets uh, stop procrastinating. Use what you got so far and start making some. Um, but thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.